Hello everyone, let me introduce to you the wiring method of the A-glass bubble chandelier ball-shaped pendant light lamp. This lamp contains a total of 13 lamp holders. Please prepare the following tools first, including electrical tape, electrician-specific wire strippers, scissors, wire terminals, white or red, and cable zip ties. Please stretch the wire to the appropriate length to facilitate wiring. At the same time, this program can detect whether the telescopic tension thread lock is damaged during transportation. Please don't worry about the length of the wire, you can still adjust the length of the Wii. Re after you install the light fixture, as shown in the picture, use electrician's special wire strippers, 0.8, to strip the wires. Look carefully and you'll notice that one of the wires is green and the other is rose gold. Please use zip ties to lock them for better wiring. Use zip ties to lock all the green wires and the same goes for the rose gold ones. The purpose of the steel wire shown by the red arrow is to enhance the tensile strength of the wire. Please ignore it. Tighten the assembled green wire to the live wire, black at home and put it into the terminal block. Tighten the rose gold wire together to the neutral wire, white, at home and put it into the terminal block. Please note here, before proceeding to the next step, please ensure that all exposed wires are contained within the terminal blocks. Then tighten with electrician's wire strippers if you are using white terminal blocks. If your electrician's wire strippers don't have this feature, you can use regular iron pliers to lock the terminal blocks. Use red terminals to tighten without using pliers. Use zip ties to lock them shut. Be sure to wrap electrical tape to prevent shorts and leakage between wires. Connect a light fixture, S ground wire to your home, S ground wire. It is recommended to use 7 watts or more 3000 K warm light G9 bulbs. Of course, you can also choose G9 bulbs with variable color temperature. What needs to be noted here is that the first color temperature of most variable color temperature G9 bulbs is cold light with SU, X1000K, then warm light with 3000K, and then natural light with 4000K, and the G9 bulb has no memory function. Moreover, the G9 bulb does not have a memory function, so the next time you turn on the G9 bulb, it will display 6000K cold light. Thanks for watching.